Hello, my beautiful words of love and light, and welcome to this weekly reading from September 27 to October 3rd. We're entering into October, a new month. Wow. So, um, Monday, September 27th is Mercury in retrograde, and it's going to last until October 17th. So if you're coming from Instagram, I'm just going to do a little recap of what I did. And there I said that, you know, retrogrades is all about retreating. Your planet's retreating in the sun sign. And in this uh, instance, it's Libra. And Mercury is the planet of the mind. It's communication. Libra is the planet of relationships. It's a planet of like harmony. It's like ruled by, um, it's the justice card in the tarot, but it's also ruled by Venus which is the Empress card. So it's like very nurturing, um, caring, um, balanced, harmonious, relationships, friendships, family ships, that kind of idea. Um, but it's also justice, right? So it's a very interesting um, energy that we're entering into here. So Mercury going into retrograde in Libra, it's like um, there might be issues with uh, existing relationships, in whichever like your partner your friends your family uh, there could be resistance when it comes to speaking up speaking your mind speaking like uh, vocalizing how you're feeling vocalizing your emotions in these relationships there could also be a, a, like a, a resistance when you're speaking uh, justice or it could be that you're wanting to speak the justice and it's being repressed by external, right? Like censorship, uh, all this false information, all this that you're finding online. So it's very interesting how we're in October. And I don't know if you watched me last week, but I say that how the planetary alignments are very uh, attuned and aligned with what's going on in the world. So I also liked, wanted to speak about because um, you know retrograde energy is all about uh, make sure when you're signing contracts that you dot the I's and sign the T's that kind of thing is be very uh, vigilant when it comes to writing a contract buying a very big price item also like there's it's very much known and a lot of you have felt this before and other and other mercury retrogrades where you like your computer just like shuts down or your smartphone it goes wacky well it's because of mercury and retrograde right it's communication so everything is a bit whacked so back up your data back up your photos back up anything you want do it on a hard drive or however you want i would suggest doing it on a hard drive rather than the icloud because who knows if icloud goes glitchy as well also, like we, we tend to like see the retrograde as something, oh my God, you know, oh my God, it's, it's because of Mercury and retrograde that this is happening. It could also be a good thing and a positive thing, the retrograde. So let's say you're in a relationship that's just not going anywhere, okay? Or you're in a job that is just like stagnant and you're stuck or whatever. Or you're in a friendship or anything, every area of your life, or you're, you're trying to... Um, accomplish something in your life and it just it's not moving it's just not moving anywhere mercury in retrograde is the perfect time to 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 take advantage to step back and look and observe and look at what is going on it's a good time to fix what is broken in your life it's time to uh, take that time to look at what is uh, what's not working why it's not working Right, so now you're retreating, right? You're going back and you're looking at things with a, a different um, eye. So um, there's always good in something that is like deemed as negative. It's not really negative. It's just like uh, the time to take a break. Maybe it's a time to take a break away from the uh, from the computer. A time to break, take a break from technology. It's time to. Um, move into your relationships friends whatever everybody move into yourself kind of thing so take this time uh there's a lot of like last week i told you like mercury is trining jupiter and mercury is squaring pluto so there's still a lot of that happening this week there's still a lot of um there could be tensions building up so just take this time to uh relax and be you 
So I think that, and we, as we enter into October, I'm going to be pulling a card for our, your energies for October as well. So I'm going to be pulling a card for you for October to see the energies and how um, to best uh, navigate in this month of October. And then uh, that's it. So I will see you next week and I hope you have a beautiful week. So don't fret about this retrograde, embody it, embrace it, enjoy it, because life is miraculous. And right. again, like, comment, subscribe, <laughs> check your rising, your moon, your Venus, your Jupiter, whatever other signs you want or extra messages. As a side note, I also um, wanted to just tell you that I was compelled towards this um, oracle card for your overall energy. Starseed Oracle by Rebecca Campbell and for me that meant to me that because uh, they I, I always get directed towards a certain Oracle card for your readings and th when I got I got this I was like okay like your team uh, God or source or you, the guides are saying it's time your clients are ready they're getting activated it they're awakening on this journey and it's time for them to be elevated with these oracle cards so i was very excited and i wanted to share that with you and um that's it so i hope you enjoy your reading and i hope it feels cosmic i hope it feels galactic i love you and i'll see you in your reading have a great week bye hello my beautiful aries so we got the seas of mintaka Seeing potential, bringing unconscious to light. The, so Mintaka is a water-based planet that actually I don't no longer exists in the galaxy, but it was full of water. It's like um, there's there's a lot of Mintakans, not a lot, but there are Mintakans here on Earth um, that came to volunteer. So Mintaka, this is just speaks to me when we see water it's all we, we know right away it's all about emotions but they're known it's it's a planet that was known to be have the clearest of waters that you could go in and see the whole planet if you went underneath the water so what is that saying to you Aries is that you're starting to see clearly you're starting to things are starting to work out for you things are starting to um, come to fruition so if you're working on a project, if you were working on a relationship, if you were working to attract someone into your life, if you were working on make, making a move, if you were working on something, the, the ball is starting to roll. Or the ball is not rolling, but it's meant for you to see clearly that maybe it wasn't the right decision. So there's always two um, peas in a pod, right, I guess. So there's always like either or or, but in this case, it's um, you're bringing your unconsciousness to light. So whatever was embedded in there that needed to come to light, whatever is like that you've been hiding, what you've been burying, it's coming. It's saying, okay, this is not right for you. This is right for you. This is not good for you. This, you know what I'm saying? That's the energy here. So this is a really great reading. So let's see. This could like totally do this so it doesn't fall through the cracks <laughs> okay so like I said I have a mercury in retrograde and in an October energy read for you so let's see what's going on we got the eight of swords I'm gonna pull them all out so I can have a the king of wands which is Leo and the hermit which is Virgo so interesting so the eight of swords energy it's your past position eight of swords is like if you just see her she's veiled and she has all these swords stuck in the ground the swords energy is all about uh, mental energy thoughts which is interesting because we are in mercury in retrograde this week as well so this is like it's all stuck energies and you're like oh interesting and you're buried like you're you're hiding behind the veil and you're not wanting to see clearly you didn't want to see clearly, but now we're heading into a, in different energies. And maybe a lot of you were just like, I don't want to see it. I, I don't care. You know, the same idea is like, you know, like, um, is a world view. 
oh, it's okay, whatever the TV says is right, right? Kind of thing, that is it. And that's lifting for a lot of you, which is so poetic because we have this star seed coming in. So it's a, maybe a lot of you are awakening on this journey and you're seeing clearly, clear, clearly, clearly, you're seeing through, through all this uh, fog, through all these trees, through all this like uh, heavy energies. You could also be already awakened, but you're still going through this, right? You're seeing your, a lot of us are going through a really uh, a, a clearing of energies. So this is actually amazing. And then the King of Wands shows up, which is the Leo energy. And maybe you're gonna get like, and there's like this wreath here, but almost feels like wings to me. Maybe you're, you're getting help Maybe there's a Leo in your life that's going to help you through this. Or maybe you are uh, being asked to go seek a mentor in your life that to, to sort things out in your life. Um, maybe some of you are going to meet uh, a man or a female in your life that um, is part of this seeing clearly. Maybe you needed to release your old energies to attract someone new into your life. Or if you're in a relationship, it feels very good. It feels like uh, free. Like the King of Wands energy is this energy of, uh, he's a very outgoing king. He's very uh, sure of himself as well. Very confident, very brave warrior. Uh, he does not hide away. This is not his energy. He doesn't hide in the forest and step away from, he confronts. I mean, he's like you, he's Aries, right? He's a fire sign. It's like the status quo does not work for him at all. So it's very interesting. And I feel like that is where you're stepping towards Aries. You're stepping outside of that kind of should zone and entering into an expansive zone where you're going to take a risk. You're gonna jump into something. And the, 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 the clear waters is like either helping you propel you into this jumping or you're going to like jump into the clear waters. You're going to be like, oh, you're going to have your aha moment. Because the Virgo, the, the hermit shows up. The hermit is like um, that energy of retreating, right? It's good, Mercury in retrograde retreating, but it's also a lead by example. It's also... He takes the lant lantern and he goes into the dark. He goes into this forest with the lantern and he, he illuminates the issues. It's like, it's time Aries to step away from the illusion kind of thing and go full force into whatever it is that you desire, whatever it is that you want change in this world, whatever it is you wanna change in your life. That is, the, that is such a beautiful energy. And this is like, look at her or him, whatever it is, going towards the light, going into that portal. Go into that portal to, to get activated, but go into that portal because you are taking that risk. You're, it's time to make that change. Oh, what a great energy for you. <laughs> okay. I like it a lot. Cause it, and, and I like it because the Hermit is a nine card. It's like the end of a journey, like your end of a journey, and you're beginning a new journey with the help of this very fiery, like energy, doesn't care, like Leo, right? Here I am, put the spotlight on me. No more cowering away, no more of this Eight of Swords energies, no more of like, uh, no more of this. awesome it could also be that there's a Virgo and a Leo in your life that's going to help you with this impact but there is this very freeing feeling here of stepping into your own power so what is the Mercury and retrograde um, message for you bring electric eel spirit bring your ideas to life very interesting energy 
because um, Mercury in retrograde is about like not starting that project or not starting that thing. But also, if you listen to my intro, it's like when you are stuck in something, it's like fixing why you're stuck in it. So maybe some of you are have been holding, have been teetering on a new project idea, a new uh, path to take, a new way of thinking, and you're like, mm, I don't know, do I do it, do I not? And your electric heels, like, it, take advantage of this Mercury in retrograde. Sit back and actually look at every piece of the puzzle. Use your discernment. Listen to your higher self. Listen to your heart. Bring that idea to life. Do it now. Put it on paper, right? Doesn't mean you have to go and do it. And if you do it, be careful, right? Like cross those T's, dot the I's, but be be wary of uh, when if you're launching a project at this moment in time. But you can bring it to life, right? Put it out in the forefront. I like it. The eel spirit could be some of you. And I like the water showing up here. A lot of water energy, a lot of emotion energy, spiritual. Maybe some of you are on this path and you're awakening to your spirituality even more and more. Great energy. So your October, what is expected of you? Oh, that makes sense. Sixth house routine. Oh my God, I didn't realize that. The sixth house is Virgo energy. Your Virgo is showing up again. So Virgo, if you have Virgo in your sun, if your moon or your rising or anywhere else in your chart, then this is significant for you in October. It's all about routine, like work, health, self-care, like taking care of you. Oh my God, it's awesome. It's like the Virgo is all about the is the analyzer, right? It's the one who takes things, observes things, look at things, figures out what it is that she want she or he or she wants to do with her life. And that is what I'm asking you here. Is to take back and look at things. But do them for you. Thirty is three, so it's like creative expression. Do what it is that inspires you. It's passion inside you. It's that that this is like a general message, but like it feels like that. Like if it's in a relationship, then do what's right for you. If it's um, a job, like this is perfect. If there's a there, there could be a job that's waiting for you out there in October, and you're like you haven't been able to like you've been like too worried over what's not enough money. What are just do it's like launch yourself into it Cre create that little financial forecast for yourself your budget and figure it out but you can do it Aries of all people and please self-care take care go to water there's a lot of water here go um, if you can't go to a sea or an ocean or a lake or a river and it's freezing cold take a bath showers very important water it's very important to all of humanity to release all and negative energies from you take a sea salt bath whatever enjoy i love this aries for you have a beautiful first week of october and enjoy this energies coming in release the old i will see you next week bye hello my beautiful taurus so this week bye. we got earth pulsing Pulse of the mother, slow down time and nature. Gorgeous. So what this means is it's time to go within. What does it mean to go into nature? A lot of, I, I say this every single reading. I know I'm like, go into nature, hug the trees, put your feet on the ground, you know, while you can, because if the snow is coming, it's not so easy to put those feet on the ground, but you can. It's just going into nature is like going to meet yourself because we are beating the same, like our, we're beating the same love as like nature is. Like we are nature. 
because nature is God and we are pieces of God. We have all Christ consciousness within us. So we're all one. And once we understand that, then we understand that we are the pulsing heartbeat of this world. And that is what this is all about. It's like, it's time to go to go with go listen to you listen to what your innate is telling you if it's telling you you need to rest this week then go for it if it's telling you that you need to uh, volunteer then go for it if it's telling you that you need to uh, help your colleague at work do that it's just like we don't listen to ourselves enough that, and that is where, that's why we're here. We're always listening to someone else to prescribe us something, to do this, you can't do this, you can't. No, no. If we start to listen to our, ourselves and to the nature within ourselves, like if you think about it, the flower, the flower blooms, it dies, it blooms again. It, it's not listening to anybody. There's nobody saying, okay, flower, now you have to wake up and bloom and grow a petal you know it doesn't listen to anyone because it's listening to himself or herself or itself right this is where we are heading as humanity and this is what they're asking us for here Taurus all right so, wow. <laughs> so here I have your mercury and retrograde and your October energies so let's see what's going on this week we got the eight of cups why do I feel like we got this last week the eight of cup energy I think we did okay eight of cups now it was your future card and now it's showing up as your past card wow the four of swords which is so sublime and makes a lot of sense and the nine of cups the nine of cups we got this last week too oh my god <laughs> everything's showing up again this is awesome i love it but now it's the future and last time it was the present yay it worked out really well so eight of cups it's like walking away from something that no longer serves you. It's saying goodbye. Even though it's like, here the Eight of Cups are all full, the cups. It's not like, it's like a, not a bad energy that you're walking away from. You're walking away from something that, is, that you love. Maybe you're like a, a partner or a friend or a family member that you love deeply in your heart, but it's just not aligned with who you are anymore. And it's time to just say goodbye. Like, or not, whatever or work it out but in a way that benefits you right but like I, like I said in the beginning it's like the, the the flower is not going to stay near the tree that's rancid it's going to find its way somewhere else but it still loves the tree it still loves the grass So that I'm feeling like you're needing it doesn't have to be a person I used to walk away from it's like something that is not uh, sitting right with you Taurus and you know we, we're we like grounded we're like these freaking stubborn bulls and we're like no I'm gonna stay I'm gonna stay I'm gonna stay I'm gonna stay until my heart is completely broken into small pieces no man we're heading into a new energy where we have to like um, love ourselves completely and by loving ourselves is by being whole and righteous to ourselves and it's by eliminating yourself from taking your taking yourself out of the picture of things that don't align and then the four of swords shows up in the present which is this go into nature <laughs> go into a cave go uh, go somewhere that's quiet find that quiet i know if you have like a thousand kids at home it's like it's not that easy and if you're a single mom or a single dad, it's not that easy either. But just go on your balcony or wherever you can. Step outside for five minutes. Activate yourself by the sun. Close your eyes. Quiet. Five minutes. It's enough. Right? At night when you go to bed. Like that's the perfect time for many like parents or many people who have like a lot of things going on around them. Take those moments for yourself because you deserve that time. Go into a meditation if you can. If you can't, then just relax. I just feel like this is so relaxing to me. I feel so relaxed right now. <laughs> but know that you are deserving of this kind of energy. And then we get to the Nine of Cups, which is like 
harmony. Like, I'm, I deserve this. I am deserving of the love, of the peace, the quiet, of the freedoms I feel. You are deserving of it and you're going to get it. It's coming your way. It almost feels like it will only come to you once you are quiet and still and you go within and you leave. You leave. Like when I say leave, you don't have to leave people in your life, but you set those boundaries and you protect yourself. Right? It could be a really like a shitty boss or someone in your life that you're like, no man, you don't get to talk down to me. It could be a friend who thinks they're holier than thou and they're like, no, you don't get to talk to me like this. That is what I'm talking about. Or if, or, or either or. But this is coming up, babies, not a cup. So you're getting validation for something. You're going to get rewarded for something. Something is coming towards you, but more about your love and your emotions. Wow. Taurus. So Mercury in retrograde message, so cute. We got the pig spirit, use your mind wisely. It's a 47, so it's an 11 divine number coming at you here. You got guides are helping you out this week. If 11 is your life path number, then that could be significant for you this week. If you love pigs, like who doesn't love pigs? So cutie. So use your mind so mercury in retrograde is all about your mind right mercury so um and it's so interesting because libra is a relationship so maybe some of you it's being asked you so um hone in use your discernment here hone in and use and listen to your what your uh, higher ego is saying to you and your higher self is saying to you about these relationships in your life what a great message. Right. So let's see what's happening for October for Taurus. Wow. Pluto transformation. Can you look at that number, please? What is that number? 11. <laughs> this is the ruler of Scorpio. Again, Scorpio is showing up. Last week, Scorpio showed up in our freaking reading. Scorpios are our opposite sign. It's like, okay, Taurus, it's enough with the old. It's enough with your everyday routine. It's enough with sticking to the same plan. It's enough with sticking with the same person. It's enough with doing that. It's time to change. It's time for the new. You want to go into a new earth energy? You know, we need to follow the cycles of earth. Where it's, you know, like when we look at the trees, they're so beautiful in the spring and the summer, and then they start to lose their leaves, and you're like, bah. but it's okay. That's the their cycle of life. They die, and they come back to life. So this is what it's asking here. October is about you going into a new cycle of your life. Uh, this is really exciting. <laughs> I don't know about you, but it feels like very calming. It feels very like uh, rewarding. It's like almost like go into your mind this week or go into your heart. heart. Your heart chakra is the most important chakra of all your body. If you can calm your heart, if you can listen to that, change I mean you're you're ready for this transformation you'll be ready for it and and it's interesting that mercury is squaring pluto in this in the next few weeks or even up till Octo end of october so we're looking at um like I said I think last week I said it mercury is squaring pluto so it's like that corner of that box so it's like, I want to, uh, I want to speak my mind and, and Pluto's like, so then speak it. Like, what are you doing? Why are you holding back? Just say what you need to say, vocalize what you need to say to us, to that person, to that situation, to that bus driver, to whoever it is that's pissing you off. Do it in a kind way. 
Use your mind wisely. Use your voice wisely. Express yourself. Stop keeping it in. No. And festering, 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 and then blowing up like the bull that you are. I love this message for you, Taurus. Go, go back to yourself. Find the nature inside you. We are all that. We are all love. We are all one. I love you and I'll see you next week. Have a great first week of October. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Gemini. So we got the child of the cosmos. The intelligence of the universe lies within you. So this week I was compelled to take this, um, the Starseed Oracle. That means that you are ready to listen to these messages. Everyone out there is getting activated. So the guys are, it's time. This is you um, believing in you, in your power of making decisions, of uh, taking action, of staying within, of doing whatever it is that you need to do in your life, whether whatever area of your life, but relying on you and not relying on someone else to tell you how to get there. Right? You can listen to your tarot reader though, but that's okay. You can guide her, you know, like uh, how we um, listen to our leaders because we think that they are, they um, have better intentions for us, but really it's us. We know what we need for our body, for our mind, for our soul. Nobody can tell you how to be, how to act, how to deal, how to see. You know, because you are a cosmic creature. You are a beautiful, powerful being of light. I love this, man. This is really just saying to start believing in you, Gemini. Stop listening to everybody around you. Everybody, like anybody that doesn't feel right in your heart. Why am I listening? If you're not resonating with somebody, it's time to think about that and go backwards and say, okay, why? And listen to you. We are so disconnected from ourselves, it's not even funny. And that control energies have created that for us. So now it's time to start listening to you. So, here are the energies that I want to read to you after. So let's see what's going on this week. Oh, this is interesting. So this card flew out and I wasn't sure if it was upright and they wanted me to keep it in reverse. So that's the Ace of Wands in reverse. Ace of Wands energy is like starting something new, is launching yourself into a new project, is um, a new relationship, doing something uh, outside of your norm, going into like taking a risk. Wands is Aries Leo Sag energy. Very dynamic, very blazing, you know, like passionate. But it's in reverse because some of you are afraid. Some of you are like holding back and you're like, oh, I'm going to stay in this situation because it's just safer, which is not very Gemini, but I'm going to stay here and I, I'm not going to, I'm going to stay in this job. I've been with it for 15 years, even though I cannot stand anybody in my place. You know, I'm going to do things. I'm going to follow the rules, Gemini. <laughs> so <laughs> it's right so this is just the energy that's why I was like surprised I was like why so some of you are holding back your true potential because you're afraid of something you're letting fear override you when all you know is that you're a cosmic being that you have all the intelligence within you and you lost it and you forgot that but once you start to tap into your powers you'll realize that yeah I can do anything I want I don't have to be afraid of taking this risk. I don't have to be afraid of walking into whatever, even if I don't even know what I'm walking into. Who cares? What's the worst that could happen? You fail. And then you stand up, like, you know, fall seven times, stand up eight, the Japanese proverb. And you stand up and you go forward again. Too much, these, we've been taught so badly. This could be, um, could be a delay in something happening else as well when the ace of if any ace is uh, uh, in reverse it could be like something is on its way and there's an obstacle so don't 
don't stop because the obstacle is there. Continue moving forward. It might may t- take like a few more months, but keep purge moving on, not purging. P- keep going forward. That's what I feel. So let's see what else there is. Eight of Crystals, which makes sense. The Eight of Pentacles, which is work. And the Four of Crystals. Wow, this is awesome. So there's this delay, right? So when, whether it comes in your job, in your relationships or whatever, there's just something that's not working out. You are not believing in yourself. You're like, uh-uh. And the Eight of Crystals comes in. It's like, okay, the Eight of Pentacles is all about work, right? It's all about going for your dream. T- doing, doing what... This person is juggling all these beautiful like coins, crystals, like um, stability, uh, prosperity, luck, all of it. She's like, yeah, yeah, I got this, man. I got it. I'm secure financially. Don't worry about it. I'm going to get through this. Whether it's a financial uh, issue that you're dealing with, whether it's a relationship issue, whatever the issue is, she's got this. She's very comfortable about it. She's not afraid that these little crystals are going to fall to the ground. This is where we need you to be. Eight is like power. It's having faith in yourself. It's like the power to go through something. Eight is also infinite, right? It's like, it's happening. Like stick with the plan. Stick with whatever it is that you're doing or change it up because obviously it's not working. But you know, and that's why this is here. You know what's good for you. So start listening to yourself. If there's a delay in it, then uh, embrace the delay. Continue working on it. Try to figure out, figure a way around it. Use your mind, Gemini. You are Mercury. Use your mind. Stop listening to the others. Start listening to yourself because the future card is the Four of Pentacles, which is money coming. Right? He's hiding in this cave. The Four of Pentacles comes out as could be greedy and materialistic and say, oh, well, I'm just going to, I just made some money and I'm going to hold it to myself. I'm never going to share it. I'm going to keep and stay in the cave. But there's also another energy of the Four of Pentacles that money will come to you once you allow the light to shine in on you. It's there for you. Four is our foundation. It's like the eight of crystal is like the half of that, right? Eight and four. I work re- like I'm. I, I I work really hard. Money will come to me. It's really a beautiful reading, actually, Gemini. But it's a really an interesting reading that you need to like actually start to believe in you. Start to believe that all the work that you've put in to whatever area of life it is. That it's going to come to fruition but you need to uh, trust in the plan trust the timing of things right now things are maybe delayed right now um, you're uh, feeding into fears you're feeding into the low vibe energies where they could be like something great could be coming towards you but you're holding back from it because you're uh, believing in the illusion and it's time to crack through that illusion and know that you're confident in all the work that you've done towards whatever it is that you will be rewarded. Believe that you will be rewarded and it will come. It's all about how you, it's all about the belief system. So, your, oh my God, your Mercury in retrograde message is the cow spirit the miracles are endless there you go so miracles are everywhere all around you if you believe if you believe in you if you believe in your decisions if you believe in your gut your heart you listen to what resonates with you you step away from people that are not aligned with you you step away from people who are keeping you down Nobody has power over you unless you give them the power. It, embrace the cow spirit. I like that. <laughs> He's so cutie. So the October energies, oh my God, 
is Mars force. Mars is all about, um, it's all about action. October is action for you. We're not here to sit around and watch everybody take advantage of us. We're not here to sit around and watch your dreams falter. We're not here to watch uh, other people do things that you want to do. No, we're not. We're here to move real fast and precisely and with force. Not in a violent way, but with a Mars rules um, Aries. So Aries is like, they just do it. They're rams. They just go and they plow through things without thinking sometimes because you think too much because your mind you're you're ruled by mercury and it's okay but it's time to um, remember this power that you are and go for it do what it is you want to do Gemini not what everybody else what you want to do that is the message for this week plow through the retrograde still back up your shit but know that miracles are coming for you I got, uh, these, these messages are just getting more powerful every week. I love it. All right, Gemini, you got this. Go and see your sun and your rising, and your sun and your rising, your rising and your moon for other messages, but this is an important message for you to uh, start to trust in you. I love you, and I will see you next week. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Cancer. So we got that gorgeous energy for you. We got a new earth. It's happening. Keep holding the vision. Beautiful. So, um, a new earth. If you're on this journey, then you know that we are heading into a new earth. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. This is not woo-woo. This is for real. The new earth is telling me that you are... Um, she's like looking at this whatever it is. Could be the moon, could be any, could be earth. We don't know if the earth is round, but we could look at that. <laughs> she's looking into the galaxy and she's saying, focus, Cancer, focus on your dreams, focus on your visions. It's time. We are no longer in this life of like hardship. That doesn't exist. We have to work hard to get what you need. This, that, that's like a very old paradigm. Now it's like head into beauty, head into what is you want in this lifetime? Do you want to work like a freaking like whatever, an ox to get to where you need? Or do you want to work on something because you love it? It's like stirs in your soul and you don't care about the status and the power of it. You do it because you love it. And that's what they're saying. You know why? Because things are starting to work out. Things are going to start to work out for you, Cancer. I love this. I love this last week. And this week is... you. Had, last week you got the co-creator with the spider. And this week you're getting this new earth. It's like you're on this trajectory with us. You're almost like um, helping us through this, Cancer. So this is awesome. Focus on your freaking dreams, Cancer. We got... Um, your messages for the Mercury in retrograde, also the October. So let's see what's happening this week. Oh my God. Transformation, death card. Death, goodbye to the old, into the new. Goodbye to the old paradigm. We're walking into a new earth, right? We are heading there. It's very apparent. We're going right now through the little tight squeeze we're all feeling it, but soon the light will be shed on all of it. And you are there. We're at the precipice. But this is the past card, so I like the idea that it's here. So change is already happening. It's already starting for you. And the two of pentacles shows up, which I kind of like it. It's in the middle. And the strength card shows up, Leo. So this is Scorpio. Leo, so it's uh, you're a cancer, you're cancer, so you are a cardinal sign. Cardinal is the can the cardinal signs in the zodiac is like someone um, who starts things, 
who gets going, things going, right? The fixed signs, which is Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, these are the signs that like start to put things into action. They start to uh, create things. So this is what you're doing. You're manifesting things into play. And they showing up here saying, change is here. Whether you like it or not, don't be afraid of it. Change is here. Change is for the better. We're heading into something beautiful, miraculous. And you have the two of pentacles that shows up. And two of pentacles like, oh, but uh, I'm not sure. But you're at this like crossroads in your life. And you're like, do I go towards new earth? Do I stay in the old paradigm? I mean, it's a pretty easy decision for most of us. But some of us know, maybe some of us comfortable in being controlled by the people who have no control over us. Maybe you, you, it's just something that you're used to, right? You're used to living in this. This is like habit and you, you live in this kind of energy. And there's some of us that are like, oh, I'm going there to a better earth where there's no violence, there's no war, there's no poverty, there's no uh, control. We are our own. There's, it's all community. There's no uh, status. There's no power. There's no um, money-based economies. There's life. It's paradise. Nirvana. Yeah, like that. And so <laughs> that's the thing that you have here. You're like between the thing. So I'm not. This is like general. So it could also be that there's a change that happened in your job. All of a sudden you lost your job and you're like whoa what do i do and it's like heading towards strength be brave find that courage do oh my god it's so perfect do that dream that you always wanted to do do that thing you've always wanted in your first bucket list do it that's the thing the idea here so the two of pentacles shows up and something changed in your life uh, someone fell away from your life a relationship didn't work out or maybe you've uh, just you just were introduced to someone completely new, someone who's taking you, and you're like, "Whoa, what is going on?" And it's like, "Be brave, go for it, go and do whatever inspires you, go whatever lights your fire, Cancer. It's your time. Oh my God, it's so amazing." And maybe, like I said, Leo, Scorpio have something to do with this. Doesn't have to be. Two of crystals, it's a Capricorn energy, could be that too, doesn't have to be. But it's just this really, it's like stand in your power and do whatever you want to do. So the Mercury in retrograde uh, message is the B spirit. Sweet results await. Seven is the number of Christ consciousness. God consciousness within you. We are all pieces of God. We all have this, we're raising our consciousness as we get into this kind of energy. More and more of us are feeling it and maybe not understanding why. More of us have to go, have had to deal with the sting of our old energy. Like, oh my God, they're like, right? Filtering through us. But now, greatness is coming. Continue being brave such an amazing energy here and then October oh, come on cancer this is awesome. north node life's purpose so the the um I don't know if it shows it here I don't know what it's showing here but <laughs> like it's something but the north north node is it's a planetary aspect and then there's this a south node. It, they, they always show like a dragon's head and the dragon's tail is the south node and you're the north node. So you're the dragon's head. So it's like whatever it is that you want to do in your life, what all your mission is coming to fruition. The south node is releasing old stuff. So you're, and right now this year, the, gem, um, the north node is in, the Gemini and the South Node and such. So we're, I wanted to read from the book for you. So I thought this was really spectacular. So um, where did they? When the North Node 
card presents itself in a reading, you can be assured destiny has a place in your situation. Through many life lessons, you are about to arrive at a place for your highest good. Your life is expanding and opportunities pour in swiftly, catching you quite by surprise. This card also represents past life memories and karmic connections. Awesome. And then I wanted to read a little bit over here. The energy is now telling you that the schooling part is over for now. Lessons have been learned and you are now to act on these lessons toward, our great, toward a greater destiny. At this time, it is evident where you need to go and where you need to be. Matters will develop suddenly, but there is still work to be done. Luck is on your side with an opening toward greater things. Karmic lessons learned and processed bring fulfillment and happiness. This is like equivalent to the Ten of Cups, which is like harmony. <laughs> I love it. So this is a great October energy. You're going in where like lessons will be learned. You're heading into your life mission, your life purpose. Things are going to start to get clearer. You're like almost like you're like ready for this new earth. Like, hello, it's freaking awesome. Okay, so uh, Cancer, this is beautiful. Find that courage, be open to change. It's coming, sweet results away to you. I love you so much. Be strong, keep your eyes on that dream. Don't stray away from it. I will see you next week. Hello, my beautiful Leo, and look what we got here. We got Star Family. You're part of a team of souls. Call in support. Gorgeous. So Star Family, um, Soul Family, Soul Tribe, Star Tribe, whatever it is you want to call it, that is who you are. That is who is around you. Who is your soul family? Who is your star family? It's that uh, person in your life that you... You know, the moment you met them, something clicked and you're like, I, uh, something is familiar to you about them. And you're like, I've never seen this person in my life. Someone who's like in your life that you don't have to see all the time. And still there's a connection between you. It could be someone completely like a stranger that you bump into and you feel like, oh, but you never talk to the person, but there's that connection, recognition, and then they leave but they're part of your star, star, soul family, guaranteed. Because there's, you don't just feel anything for any, everybody, right? So it's just paying attention to this this week and paying attention to those people around you that are there for, for support. Your star family does not judge you, does not uh, deny you of anything, does not um, condescend, belittle you. They're there for you, regardless of anything. So it's just a beautiful energy. And it's just like pay attention to that and stay close to that this week. Maybe you're needing that. Maybe you're going to be um, meeting those uh, those members of your soul tribe, and um, and maybe there's a reason for it. So be conscious of it and pay attention. So let's see what else is going on for you this week. So here's your other messages and. The Ace of Cups. Like, wow. Wow. So, Soul Tribe could also be soulmates coming in. So, soulmates are um, not always romantic. And soulmates come into your life because uh, they've been with you the longest in the many lifetimes before. And they know they're here to teach you lessons in your life. But the reason they're called soulmates is because you're comfortable with them for them to teach you this lesson because maybe they did it back in 1200 right and you learned that lesson and then they came back in 1400 and then they came back in 1901 kind of thing so your past lifetimes and they're like here and they're like now and you're uh, even though you don't realize it but you're like comfortable with them to teach you these lessons so you're like okay and you're open to it so that's what a soulmate is so it could come in romance but it could come in like friendship could come in a family member could come in a dog or a cat teaching you a lesson but this is awesome this uh, ace of cups speaks of new love coming in new friendship coming in something that's going to make your heart explode 
a new baby, a new animal or pet, something that, um, like I said, is going to expand the love inside you. That is coming in for you. A new relationship is starting, could be a new project that you've always wanted to start and you're, it's, you've put a lot of love into it, that is starting. So there's something great here happening. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces could be that in your life. They could be significant for you, but definitely a new beginning when it comes to love. And then we got justice. We got Libra, which we are in Libra season. We are in the Mercury retrograde in Libra. So that's interesting that they're showing up here. So justice is fairness, it's balance. You might be finding a relationship that is completely like a soulmate relationship that's completely harmonious. That's um, you're finding someone that is on the same level because they are in your soul tribe. Wow, man, you can't make this shit up, man, ever. <laughs> oh my god. Could also be that you're in the middle of an adoption. You're in the middle of doing something. Uh, you're in like a like a marriage proposal, like a contract, right? It could be legalities when it comes to love, like a new project. You're starting a so you're opening a small business. You're registering your business. This is also that, but everything is happening for a reason, and you're it's happening with your soul family around you. Could also be uh, the sword of truth. Right, you're you're uh, finding the love, finding the passion inside. You're understanding who you are, and you're speaking your truth. And your soul family is around you and supporting you in this this moment in time. And we are at this point in precipice of this world where the truth is coming out. Hmm. Very interesting. Let me see what else there is. Oh my God, the chariot, which is a Cancer card. Like, I just want you to see this because you got an ace and you got two major arcanas, which is in the, t in the tarot journey. That's the major lessons that you need to learn, Leo. So this is major stuff happening for you right here. So we have your past as the ace of uh, cups. So love's coming in, something happening in, the, in terms of romance or um, relationships. And then... Uh, Justice is going to get served. Harmony in relationships. Things are coming together. And the chariot is like that uh, card of victory. right? The card of movement. Maybe, maybe you've just met somebody that lives in another part of town and you have to move. In another country, in another city. Maybe it's a long distance relationship. Maybe you're going to get married somewhere in a different country, in a different city. There's just a lot of different uh, options here, but it feels like there is movement in the future. You're moving in with somebody, be it a lover or a friend or someone. You're just, you're moving in with your soul group. <laughs> amazing could be the travel card as well like there's movement like so it's like however it is that movement is could also be an ego card here but I don't feel like it is an ego card so your ego Leo so just be wary of your ego as you move through these um, aspects of your life in these areas of your life because it just is coming here to bring you down almost like to uh, find that balance between your love and your work, your job. Maybe that is that you're finding that there's something here happening here as well because that's love. This is more, yeah, career. And you're finding um, maybe it's coming together. Maybe you found love in, at your job, at your workplace. So many things, so many options. I could spend like hours here with these cards. But it's a very potent energy. Um, enjoy this love that's coming in and 
look for that support that's around you because it's very much there. And it could also be, like I said, could be Libra, Cancer, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces coming in for you or helping you out. Wow, Leo. I can't believe this card. Mercury in retrograde. This is your message. Who is that? It's you. Lion spirit. Be generous of spirits. Three plus seven is ten. It's, it's ten. It's one. New beginnings. New beginnings. So, I don't know, man. Maybe you're going to meet another Leo in your life. But definitely be brave. Be courageous. Share your love. Share, like, be that king of the jungle or the queen of the jungle. Be that. And embrace that love and share that love as well. Be that Leo that you are because that's who you are. You're generous of love. You're generous of your heart. I don't know. I don't know. This is becoming a little bit of a, like definitely a twin flame coming in or a soulmate coming in. And like I said, it doesn't always have to be a, a like romance, but something like coming in that's like very solid. So your energies for October... Leo, I'm so happy I'm a, I'm a, I'm a rising Leo. <laughs> Jupiter, abundance. Jupiter is the planet of prosperity, the planet of luck, good luck, fortune, of uh, uh, expansiveness. Right now, Mercury is in trine with uh, Jupiter. So it's like uh, flowing through Jupiter. We're feeling this like a lot of... Um, love and uh, goodness coming our way abundance fertility like a lot of like which makes sense for this too like maybe some of you are trying to have a baby and then it just feels like October could be it for you like you're it's coming to fruition or in October you'll meet uh, the love of your life your twin flame your soul mate there's a, Something great's gonna happen for you with your job. You're going to get rewarded. You're going to get validated. Benefits are coming in. Justice is being served. Everything is coming in. Oh my God, Leo, this is awesome. I should do this for a collective reading. This is amazing. <laughs> this is so good. So pay attention to your soul mates and tribe members because they're all coming in this week or the, even the month of October. So gorgeous read. I love you. Leo, be generous of spirit. I love it. I will see you next week. Go check your rising and your moon if you want. But this is freaking awesome. So that's it. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Virgo. So this week we pulled from the Starseed Oracle, Double Mission. Lightworker Starseed, serve the world by being you. Gorgeous card. So uh, for any of you out there that are on this journey and you resonate with being a light worker or a star seed. These are two different things. Their star seed is comes from the stars. We all come from the stars. And the light worker is here, was chosen. There's only 144,000 of you on this planet, and you are here to shine the light and help raise the consciousness of humanity. So that that's why that's like the double mission. So even if you're on this journey or you're not on this journey, this is like, um, what is your what ignites you? What is the, your passion? What is it that you love to do? What are the two things that you love to do in your life? Do you love your family and you love your job? Then let's put the light on these two things and let them work together. Do you love your creating art and you love your uh, friends and your family? You know what I'm saying? It's just like whatever it is that you're doing in your life. You love your husband or wife and you love your friends so put the attention on those things that's what it is put the light on whatever it is that ignites your soul step away from the energies that keep you down step away from the energies that stress you step away from the energies that are of old paradigm the old what is the old paradigm it's the control energies it's the negativity it's the low vibrations of fear and manipulation uh, control, right? Um, 
sadness, depression, anxiety, stress. There's no need for that. Money, this like need for money and status and power, that is old. That doesn't work anymore. It might still be work for you right now, but you, you're, you're noticing that it's like changing. It's not important. What's important is community, helping, freedom, sovereignty, right? Remembering who you are, peace, joy. I mean, generosity. These are what we're heading to. Art, beauty, creativity. So that's what this is. It's starting to do what it is. What is your mission? You don't know what your mission is? Do what's like in your heart. It's exploding from there. Step away from those, the things that are like keeping you constrained. So here, your messages for the October and the Mercury retrograde. And here is... Oh, the Emperor in Reverse. The Emperor? Oh, oh my God, that makes so much sense. The Emperor is control energy, right? It's control energy. In Reverse, it's like, you're like, no, I'm not having it. You're like stepping away from it. You're, uh, it could also be someone that is a control freak and you're finding yourself in a situation where like oh my god i have to let go of my control could also be that you are uh, something has happened with a job or your business or your project there's a delay right because it's not working in this new paradigm it's like uh the emperor is you think of the governments the leaders big pharma all these big institutions it's like the collapse of that. And you are um, maybe working in it, or maybe you are you deal with it and you're like, yo, right? And you're having to deal with it. It's just very interesting energy. It's also Aries, so that could be an Aries and maybe you're having a, a little squabble with an Aries in your life. And the Seven of Cups shows up. And the Seven of Wands. The sevens are having faith, pushing forward, toiling, getting done. Seven is also the Christ consciousness, raising your consciousness. So seven of cups is interesting. The emperor, I said before, could be something that collapse in your um, work, your business life, your, uh, your life in general, lifestyle, because of control energies uh, imposing things on you could be I don't know anything you think about restrictions that are being imposed on you but it's it's in this is that right those are those restrictions being imposed on you but it's a collapse of it it's like it doesn't work it cannot work because it's based on lies it's based on author authoritarian values which does not work in this new energy and now it's like, oh wow, I have seven other things to do, right? I have other choices in my life. I don't need to play along with this. I don't need to like find, put myself in that kind of low energy. I can choose to do whatever I want, right? I'm trying to look at what they're showing here. I can choose to uh, paint all day long. I can choose to uh, stay home with my kids. I can choose to go on the beach all day long. I can choose to travel. I can choose, you know, there's so many choices we have. We are like, um, this is saying goodbye to this like financial institutions, the way they work as well. We're like heading into a different kind of way of, of living. And this is choice. This is you, you can choose. And you can stand in that power and have faith in yourself with the seven of wands. And you can stand at the top of the mountain with your arms spread out facing the sun and you can say I think I can get around this I don't need to follow the rules Virgo I know we like to follow the rules I don't need to to do something that feels uncomfortable in me I need to do something that I am that's going to um, help me progress into a better life 
that's going to uh, push me, encourage me, support me. What is supportive? This is supportive. Your cosmic brothers and sisters are supportive. Your galaxy is supportive of you. God, source, is supportive of you. Because you are a piece of the source. You are light. Once you remember who you are, this energy doesn't exist anymore. Because they have no power over you. You have power over you. Such an important message. Such an important message, Virgo. Do what you love. I think everybody's getting these messages, and I love that everybody's getting these messages. All right. So your Mercury in retrograde message is, oh, Groundhog Spirit, time to let go. I mean, let go. Time to let go. I'm going to put him in, in upright. Time to let go of this energy. It's not serving you. It's not propelling you forward. It's keeping you in a stuck energy. It's keeping you in this like matrix. It's keeping you in the illusion. It's time to move. It's time to embrace this part of you. You are a star seed. I don't care what you say. You are a star seed. You come from a star system. Arcturus, Pleiades, Sirius, Andromeda, I can go on, Lyra, Lyra, I can go on, Mintaka. You come from a star system and it's time to let go of this old way of thinking. There's plenty of sources out there, a lot of research that could be done to understand this. It's time, it's Mercury in retrograde. It's time to take back, look back and start to remember you, who you are and make those choices that will benefit you as a cosmic soul, not benefit the external sources. So what's October energy for you? Gemini, I think. Gemini is ruled by Mercury. So Mercury is showing up again in your thing. I think, right? You are I analyze and there I think. So it's time to think outside the box. It's time to expand your way of thinking, expand your mind, open up to new horizons. Um, let's step away from the linear way of thinking and step into the greatness that you are, Virgo. All right. So this is a beautiful read. And... Um, I chose to talk more cosmically because of the overall energy and once we, st we everyone in the, on earth is activating go out in the sun go out in nature you are starting to feel it uh, everybody's feeling it your DNA is starting to activate, awaken, because uh, <clears throat> we have way more, much more DNA strands than you know. And um, you're feeling the energies. That means all the repressed feelings are coming out. Ride with them. Go out and be, and, and self-care is so important now until the end of the year. And you're good at that, Virgo. So go and do that. I love you, Virgo, and I will see you next week. And um, be strong. Make the choices that are right for you. All right. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Libra. And we got empathic star seed, energetic sovereignty, absorbing what's not yours. So, anyone here who is an empath completely understands this card. <laughs> what is an empath? Is someone who uh, is very caring and loving towards people. Even if you don't realize it, you'll know it because at the end of the day or the end of the night or the end of the hour that you spent with somebody, you're going to be completely, if you feel completely drained with their energies because you're an empath, that you've just absorbed all their energy. And so a lot of you must be taking a lot of baths and showers because the best way to get rid of energy is water or going into the sea or the lakes or whatever. 
So this is a very interesting energy coming here, Libra. So that tells me that a lot of you maybe don't realize that you're empaths and maybe you are taking on everybody else's energy. And the best way to ward yourself off from so much energy is to always surround yourself in a bubble of light. You know, you call in whoever you need to call in to create a bubble of light to protect you before you, you know that person that's going to drain you of that energy before you encounter that person. That bubble of light will bounce their energy will bounce off that light. However you want to do it, you can visualize it, you could just like be logical about it, it doesn't matter because it's so important for you. If you don't resonate with being an empath, then maybe it's like some of you are feeling drained at work, some of you are feeling uh, worried or anxious, you're feeling stressed. That is the same kind of idea right now, that you're taking on too much. You're taking on other people's energies. So let's see what the message is for you. So let's see these message. We'll read later. Ten of Swords, which is a kind of interesting energy because the Swords energy is you. And the, this is a, what is this? This is um, Gemini energy. But the Ten of Swords is that energy of, right? Um, if you if you remember the uh, if you if you know tarot and it's the original one is like a man lying on the ground he has ten swords stabbed into him because it's, the swords energy is like mental energy it's like anxiety stress exactly what I just said anxiety stress depression guilt sadness betrayal all these things that like manipulation control energy like all these energies that we live on a day to day basis and you're like I'm done. The Ten of Swords is the end of that. You're like, I'm done. I'm going to take these freaking energies off my back. I'm unstab myself. And I'm going to get up and start a new journey because I'm leaving this behind. And this is the past card. So it's kind of nice. So it's like say goodbye to that kind of old. We don't live in this kind of energy anymore. We are heading into a beautiful earth without any of this, what I just said. None of it. It will not exist. You don't get a pill to pop in your mouth to control the energy either because we are our own our own healers so this is kind of nice so some of you might be feeling this some of you are feeling this at a job in a relationship in a friendship you're feeling this um, maybe you're out traveling and you're feeling a lot of energies around you and it's just like oh. you know it's like t take time for yourself take time out Enjoy yourself, relax, release yourself from this kind of anxiety. Because anxiety, all this is not yours to take on. It's, it's time we step away from this. So, two of wands in the middle, which is the cr uh, crossroads. And the hot priestess. So, wow. We're releasing energies. We're coming to a crossroads, Libra. You're coming to a crossroads where you're having to make a de decision, which is amazing. It makes so much sense here. So let's look at these decisions. Your decision is either we stay in these old energies, we stay in these like really like heavy density energies where they're keeping me down. They're not making me go forward. They're making me have a hard time believing myself. They're making me have um, doubt. They make me feel guilty, right? These energies of like, um, maybe your partner makes you feel guilty about spending too much time doing something. Maybe like in you know, all these like unnecessary energies that you hold on to yourself as an empath, even if you're not though, but this could be it. And you're at this crossroads and you're like, okay, I'm making a decision. Do I choose this kind of life or do I choose this kind of life? Let's just put her alone here. The high priestess life. What is the high priestess life? She is like a clear connection to source, to Christ's consciousness, to God, to source, whatever it is you want to call. It's knowing who you are, loving you for you, being very uh, straightforward. Um, you the high priestess is really not an empath in the sense because she's so she does not allow the energies to stick on her she's full of bubble of light around her she's a high priestess completely confident 
in who she is. She does not allow, like, even though she, there's like, um, I don't know if here we see it. Even though she's ruled by the moon, which is very emotional. Um, she's ruled by Cancer. She's considered a Cancer or Pisces. But um, she's in control of her emotions. Like she got this like Siberian tiger here. Not e he's not even protecting her. He's just the companion, right? It's not like because she doesn't need protection. So this is what they're asking you, uh, Libra. Um, it's time to step away from this and move into uh, people around you that are of uh, high compassion, high love, uh, intelligent, like you like, you know, um, more open, more expansive in the ways of thinking. It's like, Old energy, new energy. Everybody's getting this. It's so interesting. Even uh, Virgo just got something like this. So that's important to you. So it's like, where do you, where, what do you choose? All right, little empaths. <laughs> so it's a nice one. It's a good energy. And I feel like also it could be relevant to someone in a, a job. Do you want to stay in this job where these colleagues are not supportive of you, where your boss is not supportive of you? Do you want to go in to do something healing for yourself? Do you want to stay in this relationship where it's like, nya, 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 nagging, nagging, everybody, la, la, la. Or do you want to go into a relationship where the person lets you be who you are? That's the kind of energy I'm feeling here. It could be a personal thing. It doesn't have to be someone else. Do you always want to be living in the dark, in the dark, in the whole, in the sadness, and like, or do you want to like live life in the present moment, not in the past, not in the future, in the present, and just living? Today I'm waking up and I'm going to take a shower, and that's all you need to know. And I sit in my computer, like you do, like you act as you do, right? Instead of like, oh, tomorrow I have to do this and this and this, and yesterday I had to do this and this, and that's where all this anxiety comes in live in the present moment Libra so your mercury and oh, your mercury and retrograde message is dove spirit be peace that is freaking awesome so like I said you're it's Libra right it's in your sign mercury retrograde so you're going to have like confronted with difficult relationships in your life this is like if it's in your sign then it, it's pertinent to you you're going to be confronted with difficult friendships, difficult family members, difficult, um, like, uh, in places where there was not peace. And you're going to have to step back and look at things and try to fix them or not. But do it in a very peaceful manner, not a very angry manner. Step away from this kind of energy. And move into an energy like this. When you're dealing with these people, when you're having to resolve conflicts, step into her energy and be like, this is what I want and this is what I think and this is what I believe in a most peaceful way. And then you're going to get what you want because it's right for you. October for Libra is the earth element, stability. 38 is 11. 11 is is not is not her. She's two, but a, a, a one plus one is two. So this is very interesting that they're showing up together. You have um, month. You're they're being at, you're being asked to ground yourself in the month of October. A lot of you have your birthdays. Go out into nature. Rent a cottage. Do something that will stabilize you. It's time for you to be practical about life, to um, stop absorbing these energies, connect yourself with a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn if you must, they, they can keep you grounded. It's time to um, put your feet on the ground, stop flying around like you are, Miss, Mr. and Mrs. Air <laughs> signs that you are. Uh, it's just a really interesting energy here. It's like, um, it's asking for stability from you come down to earth reach out to the earth signs if you must but come down to earth um, observe 
analyze, look at things and find out what it is that you want to move forward into this life. No more absorption of energy. And if you have to absorb, then put that bubble of light around you. All right, Libra, this is a beautiful reading. I hope you enjoy it. Step into the new. Move towards the high priestess energy. It's a beautiful energy. I will see you next week. Check out your rising and your moon as well. I love you. Bye. Right. Hello, my beautiful Scorpio. So we got this gorgeous, the blue flame. Spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time. Gorgeous. I th when I saw this, I was like, wow, Scorpio got this. This is time for activation. So many of us, all of us, the whole world is being activated at this very time, this moment in time. The blue flame is showing up to say, uh, Scorpio, we're here for you. When you're starting to feel strange energies, when you're starting to feel heightened awareness, intuition, psychic abilities, um, or you're seeing things clearly again, it's because you're being activated. And there's like extra help for you coming your way. So it's kind of a gorgeous energy. I want, I wanna, there's an activation for you. Let's see what that is for you. Um, the blue flame. So the starseed activation is, Take a screenshot of this and print it out if you want, or just put your, your hands on your heart and say, I allow myself to surrender to the awakening process that's right for me. I take things slowly and integrate my experience each and every day. I'm gonna put it here for you to see. Here you can even read the whole thing. Take a screenshot and read it. So it's like, um, like it says in the book, there's points in the awakening process where it's just not very fun. And you have to go through old energies and filter them out and they come and they, as they filter out, it's like you feel sad, you feel angry, you feel depressed, you feel all the feels. But when you get to this point, you're like, wow, everything becomes clear. Everything becomes so easy to understand. So this is where you are in your life. So it could be that you're in that part of your life right now with a relationship, with a business, with a new project, with a friend, with anything that's happening in your life, area of your life. Maybe you're needing to move somewhere. Maybe you're needing to uh, leave something behind. And the blue flame is here to say, okay, we're helping you through this your blue flame it's like your guides right everyone's here and helping you through this so i like it i like it so let's see what your other these are your other energies let's see what's going on right now ace of cups ace of cups is new love coming in new baby coming in new animal pet coming in new lust for life new um, friendships coming in soul mates soul tribe members so many things anything that's like associated to love your love for self self love self healing you know how hard it is to love yourself this is the goal this is what every spiritual guru wants I mean they should want that's what every one of us wants is self love if you can master self love then you can master anything else in your life. This is a gorgeous message. So let me see what else is coming in. The universe. Scorpio, we got the world card and the seven of pentacles. So when, um, it's interesting because the ace of cups and the world, when they show up, it could be that some of you have fallen in love with another country and you want to live there maybe you've fallen in love with someone in another country in another city and across the town wherever so there's this feeling of long distance travel there's this feeling of long distance relationship maybe right now you are experiencing maybe your partner is in another country 
and you're feeling the love for this person. Maybe there is uh, the love of the world. You're on this awakening journey and you're realizing that you are in love with humanity and you're in love with everyone. Like when you're on this journey, you, you come to a place where it's not only about you and your family anymore, right? It's about humanity. It's about the planet, the universe. You're in love with every aspect of life, the tree, the flower, the squirrel, right? Everything is like part of you. So we've lived in such an egocentric life style that it's hard for us to understand, oh, what do you mean I have to love that stranger? Yes, because that stranger is probably your soul family. So this is what we are awakening to, and this is what I'm feeling here. What? Nice. But it could also, that's very like profound and general, but it could also be that you are falling in love. So someone's coming in if you're single, or you're, um, and it's going to expand your world. It's going to like, show you a different culture, show you a different way of living, of loving. Because the Seven of Pentacles shows up in your future. And the Seven of Pentacles energy is like planting a seed and being patient and watching it bloom. So it's almost, it almost feels like new love or existing love is blossoming. It's opening something up for you or maybe you're moving there. Or it's like, it's, it's, it's a, there's an expansion period happening for you. And they're saying, be patient. Like we, we tend to like fall into love and blah, blah, blah. just let things flow into your life. Let it just like happen naturally. Because that is, we're like, we're here for a long time. I'm, I hate to, not hate to, I love to tell you right now that we are immortal beings. We've always been, we've been taught otherwise. So we have no rush. So enjoy the process of life. Wow. You could be getting a new job that you completely love, that you've always wanted to do in your life, or your, a big dream is gonna come true for you. It's going to like uh, open up to the world. You're gonna shop, are you gonna op open an online shop, or you're gonna expand your business, something like this. And it's like, okay, it, it will happen, but let it happen naturally. Stop rushing, rushing, and getting things done, 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 done. Things are working out for you, Scorpio which haven't in a long time, so I'm freaking happy about this. So Mercury in retrograde message. That is so funny. Antelope spirit, life is speeding up. <laughs> and here I'm like, yo, take a relax, but that's, it makes sense. Life is speeding up, but we don't have to follow that, right? And Mercury in retrograde is like, take it, like take a like, step back and think and do things that you want to do. Life could be speeding up around you, but we're not in that, we're not in this energy anymore. Don't let all this like crazy energy all around you, this chaos around you affect your trajectory, affect your path of enlightenment, of awakening, of activation. The two is partnerships. Partnerships, relationships, coming together. Mercury in retrograde is in Libra relationships. So this is kind of an interesting energy. So oh, wow. you're maybe starting a new relationship. It's going to open your world, but it's like, be patient. Mercury in retrograde and Libra, take a step back in your relationship so you can look at things and enjoy and revel in them. Wow. Your October energy, Libra is, oh, Libra, I keep saying Libra. Scorpio, if I said Libra, I am so sorry. Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio, Scorpio is, is void, of course, moon. Missing. Wow. So I'm so, I, Void, of course, is the, what it's called. The moon is called void, of course. Like I, my uh, illogical mind 
reads this and I've read this over and over and I still don't understand, so I'm going to read from the book <laughs> what it means. <laughs> so this is what's happening in October. All is not as it seems. The card says to sit still and stay as you are. Take no action at the current time. Wait for the storm to pass over. It is time to be patient and allow matters to settle before beginning anew. Allow this matter to resolve on its own without your help, work, or interference. Don't bail anyone out or make loans currently because it is unlikely you will be repaid. That's really interesting for you. Medical results will probably not be accurate. If your question is about a job or career move, then it's not the right one. If you apply for a job and get hired, it will not be long lasting. It's possible you will get hired and then a more suitable job will come along and you'll have to leave the first one. Wow, man, this is so interesting. <laughs> Also, do not plan a wedding if this card comes up. Keep in mind that time is not yet ripe. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Basically, October is like a Mercury retrograde for the whole month of October. <laughs> Don't do anything that is of a drastic decision. Sis, um, beware, because not all is not all is as it seems. So that for me, this feels like a world card. So whatever is happening around you, stay within, enjoy this relationship that you have, starting with someone, um, learn, be expansive in your knowledge and be patient and let the speeding up and this like, little energy like waste on the wayside, lay on the wayside because you are being activated. <laughs> <laughs> all right Scorpio <laughs> this was an interesting message all right I love you Scorpios check out your rising and your moon for other messages and I will see you next week bye hello my beautiful Sagittarius we got forge don't follow pave a new path be the leader you wish you had cosmic so this is very interesting so this is like pretty much what it says right it's like stop looking elsewhere for answers stop looking elsewhere for guidance stop uh, relying and spending a lot of money on other people except for your tarot reading of course but spending a lot of money kidding, on like spiritual leaders or even just leaders or big CEO guys that require you to follow their ways of being and whatever it's like stop following and start leading. This is what the said. This is coming in for Sagittarius. You know who you are. You know that you have all the smarts. You know that you what you need to know. Start following your intuition. Start uh, listening to you. This is like a cosmic reading. It's time to like wake up to your um, cosmic self. <laughs> I like it. It's like I think every single person needs to do that. We need to stop. Um, we have to start believing in ourselves. Again, this is very important. Because once you believe in yourself, like going for it, even if, um, I don't know who I said this to, it could be Gemini or Cancer, but if you, even if you do something and you fail, like that word is just awful, you fail, you just stand up again, right? Fall seven times, stand up eight. This is a Japanese proverb that I yet to use a lot because it's like, just get up again and go again. Because that's what leaders do. They fail, they stumble, there's a delay, whatever, and they get up again and they continue. Because really, you won't fail. Why? Because you're a star being. <laughs> because <laughs> cause you're, if you take things slowly and you listen to your heart, you're not going to fail because everything is being set out and placed for you already. All right, let's see what's going on this week, Saji. The Fool card jump right in take that leap take that risk go on that journey pave the new path they even look so beautiful together wow so some of you are being asked to jump into whatever it is that you always wanted to do do you have a dream then go for it there's like butterflies all over it fly why are you in that job that you hate why well because i need money sabina like okay so why don't you get money somewhere you love to do 
and in, in the future you won't be needing so much money just letting you know by the 2022 things are gonna change so time to do something that you love like it's in your heart and why can't you do something that you love that makes money it's, not, it's like it's or it doesn't have to be a money right go into that relationship that you that you you love that person and you're not saying anything because I don't know like just do it just go what why are we holding on you are a powerful being of light it's time to move the fool is um, Aquarius card it's ruled by Uranus it's all about rebellion about a revolution about taking um, steps forward because they know Aquarius knows I like it Wow, look at you girls and boys. Wow, oh my God. <laughs> I just cheated and I looked at your future card. The present card is death, is Scorpio transformation. Okay, I don't, I have to show this to you because this is like amazing. Two of cups energy. Soulmate, twin flame, boom, boom. <laughs> okay, some of you are being asked to jump into this relationship because maybe there's someone around you that you're not sure about jump in what are you waiting for it's going to change your life it's going to completely like catapult you into something completely different two of cups like twin flames not everybody has a twin flame just so you know it's like it's only it was decided before you come in and most twin flames are not um really romantic you don't end up staying together for the rest of your life you always you just come in and you integrate your souls together and then you leave each other it's like it or, or one of them passes or whatever it doesn't it's not a something that stays together forever soulmates is a different story because soulmates come in because they need to teach lessons teach a lesson to you or you being taught by your soulmate and you've been with each other for thousands of lifetimes or hundreds or just a few lifetimes doesn't matter it depends on how old you are but they are here to help you move into your next lesson and to learn your karmic ties or learn your karmic lessons so you're comfortable with your soulmate you've been with them for lifetimes you understand each other you are willing to allow them to help you with this lesson so this is what it is here that's happening so some of you are jumping into that. Some of you are being asked to trust your gut when it comes to someone in your life. Also, it doesn't have to be love only because two of cups could be that, but it could be bonding. It could be relationships. It could be friendships. It could be anything. It's something like a collaboration of a project that you're doing together. And it's just go for it. It's actually, it's like feeling's really good. Like go do it. You want to be a healer? Do it. You want to be a artist? What are you waiting for? You want to like open your own restaurant? Do it. It's this feeling here. It's like without you, you need to make this change. Like the, the death card here is like with this butterfly freedom, with this snake, which is like movement, right? The snake is all about that energy, that Kundalini energy moving up and like awakening you to something great and grand. And it all starts with you taking that leap and leading the way. And you're gonna find this self-love and this self-healing with the Two of Cups energy. This like partnership with someone or with yourself, partnership with you. Two of Cups energy is a cancer energy. It's like home, health, family, coming together. Scorpio energy as well is like this like making like it's ruled by Pluto it's making that change Mercury is in Pluto right now so it's like like let's do it let's take the risk I like it this feels really good so whatever comes to you whether it comes in a job and it comes in a move someone's like we have an opportunity for you to work here but it's like across the country it's across the ocean it's like yeah because maybe your soulmate is waiting for you at the other end of that right so just take this they take these opportunities coming towards you saji this week it feels uh bountiful for you wow and could be life-changing for you so your mercury in retrograde message is <laughs> so cute frog spirit clear out the clutter 
It's a 28, two plus eight is 10, new beginning. Wow, new beginnings. So clear out the clutter, we're Mercury retrograde in Libra. Libra is all about relationships, so it tells me that some of you are needing to clear out friends that are not aligned with you, uh, romantic people not aligned, family members, you know, it's the same idea, but relationships. Colleagues, doesn't have to always be romantic, platonic, things that are not um, aligned with your soul, with your cosmic soul. It's time to say goodbye. Why are you hanging on to them? Leap, oh wow, leap, leap. That's taking a leap, leap away out of that. <laughs> it's time to make the change. That's so, wow, dumb. October for you, Saji. Oh my God, is the solar eclipse revolution number 44 like master number solar eclipse revolution is like um taking a leap going into some doing something um revolution right it's like uh, the aquarius energy that i just said is doing something uh without thinking but knowing that it's right it's whatever it, i'm gonna read from this one because i want to read from this one Wow, this card spells out change. When the solar eclipse card turns up, you can expect swift changes that end one chapter and start a new one. You may have felt something would eventually happen, not having recently paid much attention to the situation. Then you're presented with a shock or a jolt and you're reeling over the sudden change. This upheaval takes away what has been familiar and safe so you can embark on a new territory or even venture to a strange new terrain, but it will be daunting. These events may seem like negative at first, a divorce, the end to a relationship, being forced to move, or even losing your job. But eclipses tend to affect relationships foremost, however, and so you may soon set, see stressors and upsetting changes in the relational supports you have counted on. But you can count on is that your life will go through a complete rearrangement of sorts the energies are saying that it's necessary to be cruel before being kind. Wow, man. <laughs> but eclipses are not always a downside. Instead, you may find yourself having to dive in, change something, fix something, or create something you hadn't really thought of, but will work out brilliantly. That ends up transforming your life all the ways you've hoped for, maybe beyond your wildest imagination. Now it is time to begin anew and start a new chapter in the book of life. Wow, man, I'm so happy I read that. That is like, so feels very Scorpio death ruled by Pluto, transformational. So it's like you're clearing away things that are not working in your life. You're clearing away things that are it's not happening and it's making you feel, and you might have to make, have a divorce. You might have to break someone's heart. You might have to, uh, leave a job that you've been with forever but it's all making so wow man October is like fucking sorry but it's all about change and you being the leader you being you starting a new journey a new beginning a new chapter change and you're gonna find love here too wow Saji that's awesome I think this is the best one of all <laughs> I love this okay Wow, I'm excited. Wow. Yay, Saji. So, wow, I think you should listen to this more than once because there's a lot of messages here. There's something happening here. Lots of change, but change is so good. I love you, Sagittarius. I hope that you listen to this message and I hope it, like, it resonates with you and may this week be as transformational as this is for you. Check your rising and your moon for other messages. I love you and I'll see you next week. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Capricorn. We got all paths lead home. Inner authority, intuition, turn your gaze within. All paths lead to Rome. <laughs> Maybe some of you are going to Rome. This is a very interesting energy. This is um, listening to you, yourself. 
So I feel like some of you are um, maybe not even on this spiritual journey and this is like a wake up call to you. It's like, hey, you're actually a really powerful being of light, Capricorn. It's time to wake up to it. You don't believe your tarot reader when she keeps saying that, but it's actually real. You are. Now start to go inside and start to listen to your heart, listen to your higher ego when it's talking to you. That's your intuition, right? Your higher self. You know when you have to make a decision, okay, uh, I'm pr pr pretty sure I've told you this before, but let's say someone comes up to you and says, uh, do you love me? So the first answer is yes, that's your higher self. The second answer is like, yes, but um, do you love me? Or I don't, I'm not sure if I, I really love you because you did this to me last week, this, da, 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 da. that's your e lower ego coming into play like survivor mode saying well I'm here to protect you from getting hurt right but now it's time to listen to that first intuition the first the first response that comes that easy one that's you that's what you need to do how you need to move forward in your life wow okay let's see what the message is for you here are your other messages so <laughs> You're showing up in your reading. The devil. The devil. So the devil is you. It's Capricorn. The devil, but is all about materialism, uh, power, greed, uh, lust. Um, for me, the devil is the control energies, is life in 2020 and 2021. So maybe a lot of you are dealing with that and maybe you are in a process of spiritually awakening and you're like what the frick is this right and you're you're coming to realize that this is everywhere in every sense of the word is like symbolism is everywhere and it's in our faces maybe you're not and you're like yo what is this tarina saying <laughs> But it could also be uh, you having lost a job. You are working so hard to get that house and five cars and realizing, is this really what I want to do in my life? Is this like status so important in my life? Do I really need to eat that $700 plate of Angus beef that was made from like a tortured cow? Do I really need to do that? No. That's the energy that's showing up here. It's this like extreme materialism, extreme like uh, 3D matrix life, the devil. It's like a choice. This is your past card. It's a choice to move forward into something else. They're give, let's see what the other choices are. The Knight of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Wow. That's amazing. So <laughs> we're here in this kind of energy. It could be a lot of you are um, in relationships where it's like based on status and power, based on money, based on, um, but you showing up in your reading feels to me that you're having an issue with you. So you're at a standstill in your life. You are, um, trying to understand where you are in this lifetime you're trying to understand uh, this that's going on around you you're trying to understand the people in your life i think there's a little part of you that's being torn between all these uh, areas of your life and that's why this card has showed up and saying we need to you need you we need you to go back home which is you your heart we need you to go back into uh, the inner knowing of what it is that you want, your life purpose, your life mission. Because the Knight of Cups is all about romance showing up at your doorstep. So if you're single and you're like um, hiding away at the nightclubs or hiding away with the drugs and the alcohol and you're hiding away, or you could, you could be married by the way, you don't have to be single for this or you could be in a partnership. But that, that is this energy. It's like you're just burying yourself in this kind of um, low vibe ways of being because that's what we've been taught to do because that's fun to do that. 
So that's the kind of energy, like, you know, heavy drinking, heavy drugging, heavy sex, one night stands, left and right. Um, and there's like love coming in. I'm not saying every Capricorn is this, by the way, right? So this is like, this is what I'm feeling here, but it could be you're being hard on yourself for, um, you're being hard on your life. You're being hard on yourself because you spend so much time at your job and you're, you're very ambitious. You're always working, 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 and you're not putting, you're not um, giving yourself time to breathe and relax and enjoy life. That's why they're saying go into your heart more. Go into your intuition and pay attention to what it is that you really need. You don't need the excesses as much as you think you do. That is this energy. And I, I feel like a lot of you might be feeling like <clears throat> a lot of like these low energies, like guilt and um, sadness and anxieties and stresses. That's the devil that brings that to you, right? Because you... Uh, they make, they normalize it in this world, you know? And then just take your pills, just take this. It's okay, everything is gonna be fine. They just make everything like this. But it's like you're almost like, you're rising up, right? Because it's like this snake energy here, you're rising to your knowing. And the Knight of Cups showing up and says, yeah, the Knight of Cups is this warrior, this lover warrior, like very nonchalant, he's like, I'm not worried about anything, but this could be love coming in towards you, and then you're seeing something different. You're seeing, oh, I can just let go of my worries and my stresses, and I can just fall in love. Or I could uh, enjoy my relationship with my person instead of worrying about money and this and that. And I could, like, it's that feeling. It's like, be the lover and not the fighter feeling here. And then your future card is the Ten of Cups, which is you made the right decision. Because this is harmony, happiness. This is uh, the culmination of all your energies, of how you've like lived your life, of greatness. But we're here now. We're like you've listened to your heart. You fell in love. You went for that person that maybe didn't have a lot of money or status or power, but you. Or maybe that person had a lot of status, money, or power, but you found a, an, uh, you found love in it, and compassion, and peace, and freedom in it. And you're not restrained and constrained by like the outside external sources and outside world of uh, what they expect, the expectations of that. Wow. But whatever's coming towards you is beautiful, Capricorn. This devil, this devil energy is just very uh, uh, resonates with me as right now of what is going on and how they're trying to suppress you, suppress you, suppress you, and not make you feel the love and feel the love around you by social distancing, like etc., like that. It's like Knight of Cups is like let's like let's commune, let's be with people, let's hug everybody. Right? And Ten of Cups is that energy of like, yes, is the new earth energy. It's we're heading into that kind of energy. Love, compassion. So, now that I finished that, your Mercury in retrograde message is, wow, a bad spirit, a rebirth is assured. What a nice energy. Coming after this devil energy. Right? Bats have such a bad connotation placed on them. They're not these evil animals of vampires bullshit. Five is 2021. Two plus two is one. It's five. We're in a five year. It's a change year. Transformation year. Extreme change is number five. So this is what that is. This is that change is happening inside you, around you, with you, whatever, in your relationship, whatever. And there's like love coming towards you. It's like open yourself up to love and compassion. And that's going to come. It's going to be validated. You're going to get it. And a rebirth is assured. And the Mercury in Libra is like this relationship of evil, right? With that, your friends, your family, your, your partners. So there might be that happening. So it's time to fix what's broken or it's time to leave what's broken. But rebirth is coming for you, Capricorn. 
time to step away from these devil energies like this like uh, I'm right you're wrong energy I'm good you're bad energy all this polarity this duality it's not worth it to hold on to that like let's go towards love that is all and your October energy is mercury mind which is so funny because we're in the mercury in retrograde until the 17th of October so you are here in this it's asking you to go uh, Capricorn your um, earth sign is asking you to go into the air energy which is the thinking energy communication energy which is ye like um, speak your love share your love to your sibling to your parent to your partner your friends tell them you love them stop holding grudges stop holding on to like hates and angers and hostilities and all these low vibe energies it's not worth it speak it with kindness and compassion share it with your voice with a, a written letter a text message if you will this is so beautiful this energy for you Capricorn it's like step outside of your norm step outside of your way of living of status and that and power and money and head into love and compassion I know it's hard for you to understand that Capricorn but it's like it's time it's time for the rebirth where it's you know it's like October's coming it's a new month it's like Turn your gaze within. Inner authority. All right, Capricorn. I love you. Check your rising and your moon for other messages. And I will see you next week, hopefully. <laughs> and um, that's it. All right, have a good one. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. So we got wait. It's not yet time. Things are being woven. This, this beautiful entering into a new galaxy. So wait for me speaks of um, many of us on this journey or in life generally go into light, uh, go into speak our affirmations, speak our manifestations, our mantras, and we say I uh, I'm ready for uh, financial abundance. Let's just say that. And then a week passes, and they're like, Well, I didn't get any money, so it's bullshit, right? And then they drop it. And this is like wait, because everything happens in divine timing. Everything happens when the time is right for you. Every single individual has a different blueprint or pattern or, or uh, life path, right? Every single one has a different um, contract, right? Set out for them. So maybe when you asked for the financial abundance in your blueprint it's only when you're going to turn 35 and now you're 30 right so it's like just let it be because when it because if you um let it go and say you know what f it i don't i don't believe in this shit right then it might take longer actually it might have happened when you're 50 because you didn't believe in the um the path you didn't believe in the divine timing. You didn't believe in it. So this is what I think is such an important message coming to you. Things are happening for you every single moment of your life, in every area of your life, in a job, in your school, in your life, in your relationships, in your partnerships, in your travel, in your home, wherever. It's always happening around you. And we need to be patient and we need to rely on the powers that be they know what they're doing they're taking care of us we need to let things happen this is you stop being so freaking impatient things are happening for you don't veer off the path because you don't believe things will happen live in the present moment do not live in the future in the past live in the now moment i want to um build a gym I want to do this so okay put it out there it will happen I want to uh, be skinny I want to uh, I don't know I want this job all right it's been spoken 
Now let it go and wait. Aquarius. So let's talk. In our past card, we have the tower, which is uh, Mars energy. So tower is like uh, I speak if in Capricorn, they got the devil, which is 2020 and 2021. Tower is the same idea for me. It's like everything, all this shit and this chaos that's happening out here. This is what's happening. So this could make a lot of sense that you're like, wow, I'm impatient now. I'm done with this, right? I don't want to wait anymore for something else to happen in my life. So this like uh, more restrictions to happen in my life, more this, I want to protest, I want to do, but I'm doing all the protests and nothing is happening. This is that energy here. So let's just see what what's happening here for you. The Queen of Swords, it's a Libra energy. And then we have Three of Cups. Okay, this looks great for you, Aquarius. So you're in this moment, this is the past energy. So you're in this moment of some, some of you might have lost a job. Some of you are not doing well at your job. Some of you are being forced to oblige to things and you're not interested. Some of you are um, like having a tumultuous relationship with a sibling, with a um, parent, with a partner, with a anyone, friend, a colleague, a boss. This is tower. This is what it is. There's divorce, there's separation, there's like angst there's hostility there's like this is this energy of like ugh, this stuckness this squeezing the queen of swords shows up and she's like yo which is a libra card which is we're in the libra season so it's like okay this is the sort of truth stand in your power speak your truth say what you need to say aquarius because you always do anyways do what it is that you need to do in your life why are you listening to the uh people that you don't resonate with why are you doing that it's time to fix things it's time to um, do things according to you who are you Aquarius that's what remember who you are right we are heading into the age of Aquarius the age of truth the age of um, high technology of innovation of knowing of rebellion of revolution I could say it all all over again I always say it to you all the time it's time to like remember who you are wait for it to happen it's going to happen it's interesting waiting because the revolution is go for it and protest but here it's like stand in that truth of yours that's all we need right now stop uh, not believing in you we need you to believe in everything that everything's going to work out because it is and if Aquarius does that then everything trickles it also could be like some of you are communicating are needing to communicate to someone vocalize some try to talk to someone about something like uh, get your point across to someone to stand up for your rights there's all this happening here, and it's very much what's happening in the world right now. Maybe you have to stand up in your job, stop it, letting get people like step on you, tell you what to do. It's like that kind of energy to me, the Queen of Swords, like no bullshit. And the Three of Cups is like, and if you do that, then this is it's coming together, community coming together, people coming together, friends socializing again, celebration, harmony. Like we go from tower energy, crazy psycho energy, to three of cups energy, which is community. This is where we're heading. The new earth is all about this. Are you willing to be patient? Are you willing to give it up to the universe to help with this manifestation? Are you willing to um, believe in your power to get through this? Because you, this is normal for you. Are you willing to believe in you to get to this happiness, to get to this like complete harmony? Yes, this is what's happening. Patience. Your, this is a gorgeous reading, by the way. The, Mar the Mercury in retrograde message for you, Aquarius, is vulture spirit. Nothing is wasted. It's a six plus three, nine. So at the end of a journey, the beginning of a new journey for you, Vulture spirit. I like this. 
Stop wasting your energy on things that don't matter. Stop wasting your energy on like uh, scraps. People that are not worthy of your attention. Stop like uh, uh, dealing with pettiness in your life. Right? Start doing what it is that you want to do in your life, Aquarius. Start being that uh, revolutionary that you are. And they're asking you this week to just like take a step back and look at the bigger picture of things. And that's fine. Step away from this tower energy. We, we don't need to be like playing in this energy. Don't play the game. Don't play in the movie that's playing out. Be the queen of swords, king of swords, whoever you are. Stand out there and just like, yep, I got this. I'm, I, I, I'm not playing in that energy because I'm way too elevated for that. Because this is coming for me. Celebration. Wow. This October for you is the moon. And you got it in reverse. But there's no really reversal in this thing. But I, I like the fact that you got into reverse. The moon is all about emotions. It's about your soul. About your intuition. But it was in reverse. So a lot of you are like rejecting this intuition. You're rejecting this like the cosmic soul that you are. This elevated soul that you are. Uh, and I'm like, I don't understand why you're doing that. Because this is a gift. You are gifted. We all are gifted. And now it's time to connect with your soul. To connect with your remembrance. Remember who you are, Aquarius. Once you remember who you are, October is going to be all about that. It's all about you and the remembrance and activation. And you're going to find yourself in a mode of, like a mode of, like a queen of swords mode. Like, like it's time. It's time for you to stand. It's time. It's time for you to shine, Aquarius. That's coming in October. Now you're going to go through a little bit of up to do. That doesn't matter. You're going to step away. Things are going to happen for you. Everything's happening in the right moment, in the right time. It's all amazing. I love you, Aquarius. Check your rising and your moon. And I will see you next week. It's always a pleasure to do your readings. I love you. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Pisces. We got trust the timing. Trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. Everyone on this earth has divine timing. Everyone has their path laid out for them. Everyone has their blueprint laid out. If, if any of you have an Aquarius in your um, birth chart, the Aquarius has something similar to this. So this is like, trust your plan. Trust who you are. Trust that you know what you need to do in your life. And there's no rush in life because we're all immortal. We are all living, we can live as long as we want to live. This is just an illusion that we think that we have to die at 80 years old. It doesn't work like that. We're heading into a different kind of world. So trust that you have all this time in the world. Imagine you had all the time in the world to do whatever the hell you wanted. Then take that time to do it and do it when it's right for you. This is what it is. So whether it's a relationship, a job, it's like stop worrying is what the thing is. Stop worrying. So stop putting so much anxiety and stress on your life. Let it go and do what you need to do. That is the message here. So here are your messages for the future. The Wheel of Fortune, Destiny card. You're fated, something is here. Oh my God, this is the, um, the Wheel of Fortune is ruled by the planet of uh, Jupiter which is right now Mercury's in trying with Jupiter. There's Jupiter's expansion, it's good luck, it's fortune. Everything's coming for you. Last week you got fortune, I believe. And this week it's coming back here. There's like something is coming into play. Your destiny is like setting its path. You are, trust the timing, let things go. Your destiny is falling into place. Wow, man. Wow. King of Cups. Scorpio, your fellow water sign, and the Eight of Wands. So King of Cups energy comes in, could be somewhat a Scorpio in your life, could be, uh, if you're um, single, could be a man or a woman coming into your life that's super romantic, super spiritual, super like uh, awake, super like uh, supportive and encouraging. 
if you're in a relationship it could be that is growing in your life there's like you're maybe you're you're that person you're the king of cups or maybe your your partner is that and there's like a new love a new love blossoming in your relationship and that was part of your destiny maybe there's like a lot of things happening here there could be this is the time the right time for you to meet your soulmate your twin flame your partner maybe it's time for you to open your heart to receive these things but the eight of wands energy is like fast moving energy it's like yes um if you find this person that's coming into your life then it's time to move and get shit done it's like communication let's get this stuff done call that person text that person write to that person speak to that person you know it's that kind of energy here could be you're in a healing business and you want to expand your business well that's your destiny and you're going to help people like you're going to um help people on this journey to awaken it's coming in fast it just feels really good so it's like it almost like just trust the timing believe in it like be patient wait for it it's going to happen whatever happening this week it's like was meant to happen so it could be like a something good happening in love could be something bad happening in love whatever it is it was your destiny feels good about love though it feels like oh, expansive it feels like healing to me some of you are going on a healing journey but whatever it is it's happening fast <laughs> it's really good spices destiny is calling and then for your uh, mercury and retrograde message we have beaver spirit lay a solid foundation so Mercury and retrograde like I said it's like in the in Libra is like there's like a, a a balance of relationships like either it's unbalanced or not or you know you have to get it you have to fix it to get um because it's broken or you have to step away from it and that's how you fix it that's the kind of idea so lay a, a foundation do you want to continue with this relationship do you want to continue with this job do you want to continue with this friendship do you, you know what I'm saying it's that it's lay it it's time to um get serious about who you want what you want in this world what you want to do in this world your destiny is playing out right now nice october for you pisces is the grand cross provoker i'm not going to lie i have no idea what this is <laughs> so i'm going to look it up for you 47 so the grand cross is an area of tension in charge thus becoming a great catalyst for movement and change which is kind of nice interesting this may be a rather exasperating time where you you feel provoked and frustrated over booby traps that seem to have been set in your way it says if everything is working at cross purposes you feel pulled in many directions such false leads and failed plans may leave you unable to produce concrete achievements There are multiple talents you are able to access as well as numerous paths you can take. Focus and organization are key. Until this matter phases out, expect resistance since opposition is the main energy field of the Grand Cross. In regards to relationships or love, they will have a faded quality. You will not want to let go of a person no matter how hard it gets. There will be a sacrifice and compromise with this relationship and it will be one where you may want to bump your head against the many walls that seem to fly up out of nowhere. You are being challenged and if you do not weather it out and see what the future brings, you will likely always regret letting this relationship go. If this business is a question is about business, know that it will happen but it will be hard. Wow. What is positive about this <laughs> is that you are becoming more realistic and focused. You won't be attracted to much glitz and glitter, but looking more towards stability and long-lasting success. A good thing to remember is that the, it's best not to fight the hard lessons at this time. In fact, this is a period where you need to take stock of all that has brought you to this place. It's time to draw upon your own strength, and in doing so, you will move from uncertainty into a place of peace and contentment. Wow, man! All right. 
so yeah so there's some like resistance happening for you the month of october so beware of that but now that you know it, you're aware of that there's like the people provoking you to like uh come like to be reactionary so be 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 careful of your uh responses and your reactions to people around you and to situations so yes maybe you need to listen to that over again um all in all there is like destiny in play even here it said things are faded for you so there's destiny in play so be open to the love that's coming in be open to the healing that's coming in towards you and you probably will need it for october so um interesting reading for you but remember to trust the timing divine timing and this doesn't have to be you in october either right you can also just uh heal heal your way through the month of october all right pisces i love you and i will see you next week hopefully and um just heal your way through life believe in you i love you and i'll see you next week